dear pastor friend of mine. And this boy is on the phone with him, the prodigal son, and said, Daddy, I ain't worth anything anymore. I can't come and get right with God. I ain't worth anything anymore. He said, Son, if I took a hundred dollar bill, fresh and crisp and fresh cut from the treasury department and held it up, how much would that be worth? It'd be worth a hundred dollars. He said, Son, if I took that hundred dollar bill and took it out in the hog pen and throwed it down in the mud. Stepped on it and stomped on it and rubbed it in that mud. <laughs> Left it out there a long time. Do y'all see where this is going? Said, if I went out, but if a man went out there and found that hundred dollar bill because he had lost it. Pulled it out of the mind yes. and held it up, tattered and torn and stinking and dirty. How much would that be worth? He said, Son, it's, it'd still be worth a hundred dollars. He said, Not only would it be worth the same, it'd mean more. It'd be more precious because it once was lost, but now it's found. <laughs> God bowed down in the dust of the planet He created. Took two divine hands that flung the stars and holds the universe. Hands that'd be nail scarred one day. He scooped in the dust of the ground and he formed man out of the dust. He came from the dirt and Psalm 103 said, He's merciful and gracious and slow to anger. Plenteous in mercy and ready to forgive. Here it comes. For he knoweth our frame. He remembereth that we are but dust. He went down in the dirt to make us. Then he went down in the dirt to save us. He became flesh. What do you think that flesh is? That's just dirt. He who knew no sin became sin. And he became a robe, robed in the dirt clay of man. He went down in the grave. He went down in the... Brother Petty John... He's been down in the dirt. I know you laid your wife down in the dirt just a little while ago. He's already been there. <laughs> he went down in the dirt for us. Old preacher said, the best news I ever got came from the graveyard. He is not here, but he is risen. Has he said before? <laughs> he was here, but he ain't here no more. <laughs> He'll be there when you go there. <laughs> That ought not make you nervous. That's folks that's been down in the dirt, honey, and know that Jesus will get down in the dirt 
where you think he found you in a horrible pit out of the miry clay. That's where God saved us from. Hallelujah. Glory. Best news I ever got came from the graveyard. He was here. <laughs> That's what they said. Down at the graveyard. Honey, he came by way of Calvary's bloody cross, come through a virgin's womb, went down in the womb of the earth, and honey, he conquered sin, death, hell, and the grave. Best news I ever got came from the graveyard. (laughs) You know what they're saying down at the graveyard? He was here. You better be glad he was. Honey, when I couldn't come to where he was, he came to where I was. He is sitting on the right hand of the Father in glory and I couldn't get there. That that chasm was too deep. That gap was too wide. That valley was too long. That distance was too great for me to come to where he was. But he remembered when he made me. He remembered what he made me of. When I couldn't come to him, he came to me. And here he came to the grave. He was here. See, and that'll help you when you get there. To know that he was here. Abraham's father of the faith, Romans 4, told us. He is that elect chosen man that God kicked off the lineage of Christ with. Abraham was a stranger and a pilgrim. Do you know he never owned any land except one piece of ground? He left earth, he left this old world. Y'all do understand that's why we're peculiar this morning. We don't belong to this world. I've heard a call from another world and he's called me out. We're not of this world. Brother Joe, you buried your father. And I know how close y'all was. Ain't many people ever get to be that close to their daddy. You went to pasture and your dad went to glory. Abraham never owned a piece of ground except one. When When he went to bury Sarah, his wife, them Hethites, them sons that tried to give him that little parcel of ground, but he said, we're going to purchase this with with redemption money. We're going to pay for this. (laughs) Brother Chris Simpson, I studied that cave where he buried Sarah. It's called Machpelah. Pretty sure that's not how you pronounce it, but really don't care. That Hebrew name. The cave, he purchased that from the sons of Heth. Where in Genesis 20, you can read about it in 20, chapter 23, chapter 25. Name of that, the meaning of that Hebrew name, Mac, pull up the cave where he purchased the ground and buried his wife. In the Hebrew, it means double. It means two. The reason they named that, that, that deep, dark cave where he buried his wife, there was a way in to that cave. But there was also, if you followed it on through, there was a way out the back. Go ahead. That ain't a helping most of you, but some of you is done. 
Some of you done bit off a chunk of eternity and that, that'll help you right there. There is a way in, but there is a, and there was two openings. See, that's why they called it two, the cave of two, a double. Brother York, you could go in that cave, but on the back side, there was a way out. And if Abraham, the father of the faith, if he had faith in one thing, he had faith in a resurrection. He said, I'll lay my only beloved son on this altar and crucify because I believe that God who gave him to me is able to raise him up and will resurrect him and keep his promise. And there's a way in death's dark door but for the children of faith. There's a back door out the other side. <laughs> He's a God of resurrection. He can walk down in that hog pen, pull that hundred dollar bill up. It's still worth the same, only it's more precious this time around. Don't care where you girls have been. Don't care where you boys have been. The slime pits of hell and sin. God help that you God help the children of our generation. Brother Eric, send your song leader boy up here. Come here, purple shirt. Josh. Josh, ain't it? I was with these people Monday, Tuesday night, and Wednesday night. This boy is serving God faithfully. Song leader and youth singer helping the pastor. This boy didn't come from where some of us blessed kids were able to come from. But Monday night, his, his mama stood up on the third pew, sick and shaking, come down and got her boy right when he got done singing and said I had to get saved. His mama got saved. Some of you youngins, you're facing a world that we ain't ever seen. You're looking at devils that our forefathers didn't have to face. Used to, mamas would pray their children in. What an hour when youngins have to pray their mama in. I don't care where sins take you or where sin left you or where sin dropped you off at. I have a Savior who'll get down in the dirt with you. They threw that woman taken in adultery, John 8, cast her down at the feet of Jesus. Said the law said she ought to be stoned. What do you say? I'm gonna quote out of the King James Bible because you can't quote none of them other funny Bibles. Hey, hey. hey. yes, yeah, that's just in case you've been going to one of these liberal, namby-pamby, contemporary, mega, little, wimpy, demon-possessed, queer-acting churches. Quoting out of a King James Bible. But Jesus stooped down in the dust. <laughs> I'll tell you what he done for that little woman taken in adultery. He got in the dirt with her. I don't care where sin dropped you off. Some of these religious boys want to say, you, you, and you, and you deserve mercy, but you're too messed up and you're too far gone. But when my Savior went down to the depths of hell, he got under the lowest sinner. He got under the lowest sin and he picked it up on his holy, holy back. Some of you girls and boys have been in some low places. And some of you ain't never known a high place. But God will come along this morning. You can be forgiven. You can fly up high. You reckon you can sing that one, Jared? 
Won't some of you young men hungry for the power of God get on your knees and pray that you'll be the preacher and you'll be the prayer warrior that God will use to save your generation. Why don't some of you young girls determine you'll be the Sarah, you'll be the Hannah, you'll be the Mary, you'll be the Martha that'll serve our Lord Jesus. 